Good evening and salutations, my Days of Elias fans. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to lie, I am loving this episode. I am. I know for some people, it might be considered a bit creepy. And for other people who aren't really strongly, or, you know, they're not, I don't want to sit there and say it. They're not super religious or even religious at all. So, there's a couple of different reasons why not to actually like the storyline. And probably the biggest one is that they already did this like 20-something years ago. For me, this is a treat. Because, well, I get to sit there and, and watch all this stuff over again. You know, I wasn't there for the first time around. I wasn't there for John the Priest, which I'm still just like, what? <laughs> okay. Um, so watching this, it's, it's great. I love it. And, um, you know, at first, you know, Lucifer, uh, I can't sit down and say that because there's actually a show on Netflix that's called Lucifer and I'm just not going to really kind of <sighs> okay, fine. Um, Satan. Um, I find it very uncomfortable to actually say that for some odd reason. Alright, fine, we're going to go with Lucifer. Um, it just sucks, but whatever. Um, so, pretty much Doug being possessed. I'm going to have to come, I'm gonna have to come up with some sort of name. So, pretty much Doug being possessed... You know, isn't it there saying? Because at first, Marlena is just like, all right, dog, just stop, stop, like, messing around, you know? And at first, you know, Doug being possessed is saying things that only Marlena and John would probably remember. So, you know, it's making her a bit uncomfortable that, you know, he's saying things that not everyone would know about. On top of the fact that you know, Lucifer was pretty much like, I'm going to come up with a name. I promise. I'm going to come up with a name that makes me feel more comfortable because whatever. Anyway, he's like, Doug wasn't even in Salem at the time of her possession. So there's no way that Doug could actually know all about this stuff. But Marlene is still not believing that, you know, he's back. Well, Lucifer did something with the with the lights, and you know at that point she was just like, "What is going on?" And then his eyes turned to all well, Linda Blairish, okay. And so at that point, I was like, "Yep, uh, I think you should probably believe him now." So now she is freaking out. She's freaking out, and she's just like, what do you want? Why are you back after all these years? I knew automatically why he was back. I knew exactly what he wanted. The question was, how long was it going to take before Marlena gave in? So, you know, pretty much it's like, yo, I'm back for you. I want you, we had so much great times, just, you know, all the terror and mayhem that we caused, and uh, I pretty much just want to kind of just, you know, relive the old glory days. And Marlena's like, no, we're not doing this. I'm not doing this. It's not happening. At this point, you already know what's going to wind up happening. You know, Lucifer pretty much is like, well, that's too bad, because, well, I guess I'll just have to sit there and just keep, you know torturing dog and just well he's pretty much going to suffer because you just said no which at this point everybody knew that Lucifer was going to sit there and hurt dog to get Marlena to agree and so he starts zapping dog with <laughs> see this is exactly why I wanted this storyline to happen I mean this is exactly why I was so happy because I get to see all the cheesiness and everything like that and besides the eyes, I'm not going to lie, looked a little kind of creepy. Um, it was just great. 
Um, but yeah, he starts zapping Doug. And, you know, she's all like, no, don't do it. You know, she's all afraid or whatever. Next thing you know, because Julie is getting impatient. At first, she's talking to Kayla and she wants to go in there. And Kayla's like, no, it's not a good idea. You don't you don't want to sit there and interrupt a session. Um, Eli comes in there to try to calm her down. She kind of just sit there and just sit with her. But I felt like in a lot of ways, <laughs> like Lucifer knew that Doug was that. Um, I don't know. I felt like because Eli was there for a little bit, but then he got a call off a robbery. Just so it happened at the same time that pretty much the devil's there. Um, which I still don't like saying that name. Um, but yeah, it just so happens that he gets called away on work. And Julie is just like, yo, it's taking so long. On top of that, the lights are flickering off and on. You know, she has her, her um, prayer breeze or whatever. Like, she is worried. She's like, you know what? Screw it. I got to sit there and see what's going on. So she walks in there. She sees Doug on the ground. And then she looks up and she's like, Marlena, what, what happened? Now I'm sitting there looking at this whole thing. I'm like, um, Julie, I I'm going to be honest. I don't. I, I don't think that's Marlena, because if she, well, if that was Marlena, why would she just be standing there just looking at Doug on the ground? So at this point, he pretty much kind of got what he wanted, um, which, let's be honest, um, it was going to happen sooner or later. The only difference was, I don't know what happened the first time around, but pretty much the second time around, you know, he was like, yo, you got to invite me in. Now, you got John Smith there talking to Abe about his concerns. I don't know how many people was actually privy to this whole thing and everything like that, but, you know, he was going to talk about the movie that John Johnny was making and how it just drudge up a lot of past and painful memories to her, and he, he, doesn't, he doesn't want that, you know. He doesn't want her reliving... Um, all of that trauma and stuff. I mean, apparently she did a lot of things. I mean, didn't I? I could have swore she actually. I could have swore either Roman or John was like he's um, Marlena stabbed John. I mean, stabbed Roman. Like he was the. Um, apparently there was some sort of serial killer or Salem stalker, and it turned out to be Marlena. And I think that's when a paper was basically sent to saying like. The devil made me do it. But anyway, he pretty much talks to Abe um, about this whole thing. And, you know, just it was just kind of nice to see a friendship. And just, you know, having somebody sit there and just kind of just vent to him. And that's when Abe was like, listen, you got 25 years to sit there and come back for her. And he didn't. So, like, don't worry. Um, now, of course, at this point, he gets... You know, after Abe leaves, um, Allie comes in. And Allie brings, you know, some pastries and stuff like that. And, you know, she's going to talk about how Johnny's excited for the new movie and stuff like that he's going to be doing. And she pretty much asked, like, so what's this whole thing about, like, Marlena being possessed? Now, she was hanging out with Johnny before. And I'm not going to lie, she did kind of irk me a little bit. But it's not really that much of a surprise because, well, that's pretty much what Allie does. Now, Johnny's not there reading the script, and he <laughs> reads the poem, he was like, whoa, 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 Marlena got possessed? What the hell is going on? Um, now, Allie comes out, and, you know, she says something to Johnny, and Johnny's like, yeah, okay, whatever, and he's just looking at the book. He's just looking at the script. And if she has to, if she actually has the audacity to sit there and say, so what, you're going to sit there and be mad at me forever because I told the truth? I'm like, Allie... I honestly tell you the truth, it's things like this that just makes you look and sound dumb. She actually have to audacity to sit there and say, oh, you're upset with me because I told the truth? No, he was upset with you because you were acting like a bitch. And, and a spoiled little brat. Like, well, not a spoiled little brat, but acting like some sort of 16-year-old little brat. Like, are you kidding me? You gotta sit there and actually try to turn this around on him like it's his fault because you decided to 
well, pretty much ruined his chances of being with Chanel, and somehow that's his fault. Okay, sure, sweetheart, fine. Um, long story short, they kind of like, you know, Johnny's like, listen, let's just kind of just forget about it, you know, you were right, and I was right, and let's just kind of move on. So, they both agree to do that, and they're looking at the script, and that's when she's like, you know, she's not really too sure about this whole Marlena possession thing, like, she's like, this is obviously something that Will made up to kind of sell the script. They get on a video conference with Will. And Will's like, nope. Um, you know, she's like, well, he's like, you know, Sammy told told me this her, herself, you know. But after that, you know, Ali's like, I just, I don't know. I mean, if it's true, I, I don't want to be involved in that. It's a little kind of creepy, you know. But Johnny's like, you know, you're not really afraid of anything. And I'm like, don't, 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 don't do that. <laughs> I get to that's your that's your sister, but don't 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 give her false confidence. Um, and it, it, granted, to be honest, it's again I said this on Friday, and I will sit there and reiterate this again. Um, there's not a lot of things in this world that um, creeps me out. It's not. It's not something to say that because I'm all macho male, I'm all like alpha or whatever. It's just certain things in this world that doesn't creep me out. But things that I feel that are closer to the truth are things that can be true. Um, those things kind of creep me out. You know? And especially that because it's... It, it, it just, I'm not going to lie, it, it, creeps, it creeps me out. But at the same time, I'm loving this storyline, like, and I'm a horror person. I grew up watching horror movies and stuff like that, so, like, the scarier it is, the better for me. So, I'm kind of looking at this storyline, like, it's a little kind of creepy. I mean, I don't, if, if you haven't noticed, I don't even like Smith saying that word too much. But at the same time, I'm enjoying the... No pun intended. I'm drawing the hell out of the storyline. So, so yeah. Um, yeah, things that are based off of reality, stuff like that, it does creep me out. But I'm enjoying it. So, next we got um, Kate and Rome. Rome pretty much tr tries to make a play for Kate. And long story short. After Kate sits there and kind of like goes around in a circle, oh yeah, we did this, but this didn't work out, and that doesn't work out. Long story short, Kate's like, you know what, I'm not going to sit there and try to do it again. You know, love is too scary, I don't really need the heartache or anything else like that, the stress, I'm not doing it. So she kind of just like, because, you know, Roman's like, listen, let's just have dinner, see what happens. She pretty much just like, nah, I'm good, and walks out. Now I'm sitting there thinking, okay, you know what? Maybe you should probably stop right then and there. But, nope. Roman's just like, alright, I'm determined to make this work. And, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not giving up. Okay, um, I, I don't know what to say to that, but, I mean, I wasn't around when they first got together. I'm not really so much in the coupling or whatever, but, um, I mean, a dude wants to shoot a shot, and, you know, it is what it is. I mean, it was, it, I know a lot of people didn't like Kate with Jake. Now, me, personally, I'm not really a coupling person or whatever, but I, I've, I've said this before. I've been with older women before, so as far as that storyline was concerned, I'm a, I was all there for it to an extent. I was there for it to a certain extent. Except for the fact that Jake was kind of a dick, so, um, and wound up hurting her unnecessarily. So that's the part that just kind of soured it for me, but, I mean, Roman, you know, they've, they've had history, they're of the same age, um, so it would make more sense for, you know, Rome and Kate as opposed to Kate and Jake, so, Kate and Jake. I'm not going to lie, I can't really think of anything else that I missed. I'm pretty sure I missed something, but I have no idea what it is. 
And if I did, please write it down in the comment section below. I want to thank everyone for watching. Um, I know some people aren't really enjoying the storyline for just reasons. <laughs> and I get it. I understand that. It's, you know, it is what it is. Um, and even if you aren't enjoying the storyline, I really appreciate you watching the videos. Um, I want to thank everyone for watching, even when it came out super late. Um, I want to thank everyone for watching. Be safe. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. I will see you in the next video.